check where's is the latest signee to good music, and already he's making those big, hearty stacks of pitchfork acclaim. Nah, but seriously, Mo Bamba is a huge single. Viral, I say. Viral. It's not so much that Sheckwez's approach to trap rap is unique, it's more that his cadence and personality sort of is. I mean, listen to Gmail. I live a mob boy lifestyle, killers on speed down, don't fuck with Shaq West, we gon' break your G down. He has skill, he can use it well. He just kinda says, like, literally anything over a beat. Like, literally anything. And that's really the issue that runs like a big tapeworm threading through nearly every track on this thing. Not all of it is that memorable really. I mean if you listen to it enough times then yeah, but as far as having its own unique space and legacy to keep in the current hip hop scene, Sheckwez has yet to find one, and I think it's alright that this album tries a bunch of different albeit predictable things like some outright wild bangers like Live Sheckwez and Mindfucker, or some melodic singing on Mo Bamba, or some of the slower looser cuts in the middle of the track listing, or the aggressive emo like Fuck Everybody which ends up sounding like an accidental tribute to He Who Shall Not Be Named. Mud Boy isn't a bad album at all, but I don't think it's really a good one either. Being a 5 out of 10 rating for me, it's pretty set on on showcasing to us a new potential star, and surely in due time he'll have a space of his own to sculpt out for himself, and hopefully it won't just be led by the name of a famous basketball player. But what do I know, there are already two on this one. <laughs>